Academic English. I'm Geraldine and today I want to share with you an amazing experience I had this week. Yes, I went to the Ibna library and it was awesome. I had to share this experience with you because going to a library is a marvelous way of learning English, practicing English, relaxing in English and just having a good time. Why not? Well, Ibna is an institution where I studied English and uh, actually I taught English there as well, um, some time ago. So while I was a student and while I was a teacher, I was an active user of the library. I can't, we kind of grew apart until now. That on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram, I saw an ad, an Ibn ad, because I follow Ibn, it's in my heart, Ibn is in my heart, and uh, saying that there was a special offer and a promotion for uh, for a library membership for a year. And if you know me, you know I don't like spending on anything, but if I would spend on anything, it would be that, and I did. But it was uh, really not a lot of money, but I thought it was a great offer, totally worth it. And it also made me get out of my house. You know, if I could, I would stay here forever. But if I have to go out, I'll go to a library. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it's not the only library that exists in the city. I'm um, in Lima, Peru, by the way. So if you know of any others, please let me know. Share your experience with good libraries here. Why do I like it? Well, first of all, I'm going to remember um, one thing that I didn't see coming was getting these. They're so cute, aren't they? I haven't even used them yet. I should. Oh, I think I broke it. I didn't. What is this? I don't even know what this is, but I like it. <laughs> it's cute. Oh well. I went to a florist, but when I started the process, I learned that the membership is not just for Mira Flores. There are many branches of Ibna in Lima and I can go to any of them with my membership. So that's great. Then the books. Where do I start? Well, I have to start with graded readers. Last week I made a video about graded readers. And here you have tons of graded readers for basic, intermediate and advanced students. And you have just choose them. I think it's a great option. Really, really, I think it's a great option because readers are really small books that you don't use for long. So to just you can just borrow them and just bring them back, bring them back when you're done. You can take books for up to two weeks, which is great. You can take uh, three books at a time, and I've actually borrowed one of them. Uh, have you heard of Anne Frank? This is a great reader and I'm going to use it for a class. Well, another amazing section is the dictionaries. There are plenty of them and you know your dictionary is your best friend. Why you don't know? Go there, go there, go there. But well, you can't take those books home because, well, you can. But you can go there and work with them for as long as you want to. There's a vast collection of grammar books, reading books, all kinds of books for learning English, uh, all kinds of books for international certifications, including TOEFL and IELTS exams, and then everything you can think of, uh, from biology to history, uh, going on to literature, of course, and there's a special section for children too with readers, books, uh, that I haven't really <laughs> dived into yet. Now, all of this I'm telling you is information that we have in English and also in Spanish. There are many books in Spanish too, as well as in English, on any topic too. So you don't have to read in English necessarily, but you could also read in Spanish there. And what if you don't like books? What if you you're not the person that says, oh, books are great, but, oh, books, yeah. Well, I advise you to start with comics. Comics are a great way of reading without the fear 
or the instant blockage that you get when you open a book and you see just letters and words. But with comics, you have pictures and you get, you, you cannot get the hang out of it. It's, but with comics, it's a much lighter reading and there are also lots lots of comics there for you to choose from. From Popeye to Iron Man, I don't know, to Marvel Comics and all that. Uh, and of course, there are movies too, DVDs that you can also take home for a week, I think. And an e-library too. Um, you have some databases that you can look for. Uh, I just entered to the webpage, which I had access to one day after I registered. And there's also a lot of educational material there. In addition to just general topics, uh, papers on any topic really, plus you get a number of internet hours there at the library. There is also a section, uh, an internet, uh, a section with um, computers, a magazine section, um, the section of the magazines for you to read, whichever you want. And it's a comfortable place. I've been only to Miraflores. Uh, I don't know what the others look like right now, but I'll make sure I'll make sure to be there soon enough. So in the end, I borrowed two books: the Anne Frank one, and I wanted to borrow The Hobbit. You know, well maybe you don't know, but I'm a fan of The Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and everything. Uh, I recently bought my Hobbit, my own Hobbit copy. And um, so I wanted to borrow one in Spanish. I haven't read The Hobbit in Spanish. But it wasn't available at the moment, so I'm going to pick it up next week when I go to the library. So I got another Hobbit in English. This is the one I borrowed. And this is mine. And I have two Hobbitses. <laughs> two little Hobbitses. And I'm going to use them for my glasses too and for my personal entertainment. So maybe you didn't have the library as an option for studying. Now you do. And I hope you use it if you are interested, if you think it will help you, if you think it goes according to your learning style, because it's all about how you feel better. Maybe it's not the library. Maybe it is. Let me know. Let me know other places where you think we can learn English. We can spend a good time too. And thank you, Ivna, for letting me get those shots at the library. And thank you very much for watching. Comment, share, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Maybe at the library. <laughs>